Hi everyone, I am Raj Lakshmi, working as an assistant professor in the department of ECE at RMK College of Engineering and Technology. In this video, I am going to give the introduction to microcontroller. So unit 1, unit 2 and unit 3 is fully upon the microprocessor, specifically 8086 processor. As far as our syllabus is concerned, unit 4 and unit 5 so the last two units we are fully going to deal with the microcontroller that too specifically 8051 microcontroller so before starting with our unit 4 so it is necessary to know what is a microcontroller before going into microcontroller let us see what is microprocessor a microprocessor is a single chip which consists of central processing unit arithmetic and logic unit and registers so all these three components put into a single chip, we call it as microprocessor. So they don't have any internal RAM, ROM or I.O. ports, but they can be connected externally. So in this diagram, you can see the middle part is your central processing unit, which is nothing but your processor. So in which it consists of your central processing unit, arithmetic unit, as well as your registers. So that is all these three component put into a single chip we called as a microprocessor. So your processor, it can be externally connected with I.O. devices, timers, serial interface, RAM and ROM. So this is what your microprocessor is. So now we can see what is a microcontroller. So a microcontroller within a single chip, if you have your processor along with your RAM, your ROM and your I.O. ports, your timers, your counters and serial port, all that put in together into a single chip that we call it as a microcontroller. So your microcontroller will consist of your microprocessor along with memory that is your RAM, ROM, your I.O. ports, your serial interface, your timers, all that integrated into a single IC we call it as a microcontroller. So this diagram will give you a clear view about what is a microprocessor and what is a microcontroller. So what is microprocessor? It, it, it is having the central processing unit connected externally with all the memories, I.O. devices and serial interface. So, but your microcontroller, it is a single chip which consists of the microprocessor along with RAM, ROM, I.O. port, serial interface, your timers, all that put together into a single IC we called as microcontroller. Now we can see what are the difference between your microprocessor and microcontroller. Your microprocessor, the CPU is stand alone. So it is having your CPU separately. RAM, ROM, I.O. timers are has to be connected externally. Coming to your microcontroller, it has CPU, it has RAM, it has ROM, it has I.O. ports, it is having provision for serial interface, all that are available in a single chip. So coming to microprocessor, the designer can decide the amount of RAM, ROM and I.O. ports, whereas in microcontroller, as it is available with a inbuilt RAM, ROM and I.O. ports, the amount of on-chip ROM, RAM and I.O. ports is fixed. Coming to microprocessor, cost-wise it is expensive as it is having all the components connected externally. Coming to your microcontroller, it is not expensive because it is having all the components within a single chip. Microprocessor is versatility, that is it is having the ability to alter its function, whereas your microcontroller, it is intended for a single purpose. Your microprocessor can be used for general purpose, whereas your microcontroller, it can be used only for a special purpose. So, unit 4 is titled as microcontroller. So unit 4 and 5 is purely based on microcontroller that to specifically 8051 microcontroller. So these are the topics that is available under your unit 4. The very first topic is architecture of 8051. So this topic we will be studying the internal architecture of 8051. The second topic is special function registers. So your 8051 is associated with a 
uh, few special function registers. So the functions of each and every register will be seen here under your special function registers. The third topic we have is I.O. pins, ports and circuits. So what are the interfacing circuits behind your I.O. ports of your 8051? So that we will be seeing in your third topic. The fourth topic is instruction sets. So what are the instruction sets available for your 8051 microcontroller? So that is what that will be covered under the topic instruction set. The fifth topic is addressing modes. So what are the types of addressing modes that your 8051 is supported? And the last topic we have is assembly language programming. So how to write assembly language code for your 8051? with few examples so like basic uh, ALP programs using your A051 microcontroller. So now uh, we can see a few introduction about a few features about my, your uh, A051 microcontroller. So A051 microcontroller was introduced by Intel in the year 8051. So it is the 8-bit processor. So these are the features of 8051. So 8051 microcontroller is a 8-bit processor. It is having 4 kilobytes of internal ROM. It is having 128 bytes of internal RAM. So your RAM is for uh, storing your data. So it can be called as a data memory. Your ROM is read-only memory which is used for storing your uh, program so that we can call a ROM as program memory or code memory. Your 8051 microcontroller has four 8-bit I.O. ports. So it is having two 16-bit timers or counters. 8051 is having on-chip UART for uh, establishing serial communication. 8051 is uh, having five interrupts. So out of that five, two are the external interrupts and three are internal interrupts. So it is having on-chip clock oscillator. So 8051 is having 16-bit address bus. So with that, it can able to access 64 kilobytes of external code memory as well as 64 kilobytes of external data memory. So the 8051 microcontroller has 16-bit program counter. So it is available with 16-bit data pointer. So it is having 128 bytes for user defined flags so 8051 is having 32 general purpose registers so each of the 32 bit registers are 8 bits so this is the general block diagram of 8051 microcontroller so you can see so it is having a central processing unit along with your cpu it is having interrupt controller 8051 is having inbuilt ROM of 4 kilobytes. It is having 128 bytes of inbuilt RAM. It is having two timers named as timer 0, timer 1. It is having serial ports to establish serial communication. It is having four I.O. ports starting from port 0 to port 3. Each port is 8-bit port. So all these components are getting connected with the system bus. So now we can see the families of 8051. So 8051 is a subset of 8052. So we have one more controller which is named as 8031 which is called as roamless 8051. So here you can see a table which shows the comparison of 8051, 8 052 and 8031 microcontrollers. So 8051 comes with 4 kilobytes of on-chip room whereas 8052 comes with 8 kilobytes of on-chip room. 8031 it is not having the inbuilt room. So we can say it is having 0 kilobytes of room. So that is the reason why it is called as uh, roamless 8051. Coming to RAM your 8051 microcontroller is having 128 bytes of inbuilt RAM. 8052 controller comes with 256 bytes of internal RAM. Your 8031 comes with 128 bytes of internal RAM. So 8051 is having two timers. 
8052 is having three timers and 8031 is having two timers. So coming to IO ports, 8051 is having 32 IO pins, 8052 is having 32 IO pins and 8031 is also having 32 IO pins. So all the three controllers, 8051, 8052 and 8031 is having one serial port interface. So 8051 is having six interrupt sources, 8052 is having eight interrupt sources, whereas 8031 is associated with six interrupt sources. So that's all about the introduction to microcontrollers and the features of 8051 microprocess controller and the features of 8051 families of microcontroller. Thank you all.